Hello students, today we will the second register involved the mo modes of operation. So as we discussed earlier, T mod register, uh, it's like a duplicate. The first nibble and the second nibble forms a duplicate. Thoughts, the timer zero. While the nibble, that is the four bits, upper four bits, support the timer one action. So let us see one one half, and that will be the sim, uh, the same for the second half also. So it is not a, a bit addressable one. We have to uh, call this particular register as a whole in the instruction. You cannot call you cannot call by bit in this particular register. The first, uh, the highermost bit in the both half, that is bit and the third bit, function as gate. So it is an OR gate, enable bit, which will control the run or stop of a timer. So if it is seventh bit gate, then it will run or stop timer one. If it is the third bit gate then it will run or stop timer zero so how it is uh, working is it is set to one by the program in order to enable the running of a timer to start running we have to program this particular gate to one that Provided the bit TR1 in the timer control register must be set and also the signal on external interrupt must be high. An interrupt 1 or interrupt 0 is a active low pin. So it is high means no interrupt is coming. Okay. So whenever there are there is no interrupt and whenever the timer run bit is set the a program will set this particular gate to 1 so that it can start working as a timer but it will be clear to 0 instead of 1 it will be clear to 0 if the run bit alone is set if there is nothing mentioned about external interrupt then it has to be clear to 0 okay so whenever the timer 0 is set it can be this gate can be set or clear depending upon the value in the external interrupt if the external interrupt is high we have to make it 1 if nothing is mentioned about external interrupt then programmer will uh, make it clear okay so this one to mention is counter or timer which is the bit 6 and bit 2 so it will be set to program uh, set to 1 it is an counter is an active high pin so it is set to 1 by the program to make timer 1 or 0 to act as a counter that means it will be counting the pulses from the external input pin so uh, when you mention it is a counter Counter means it is counting the external pulses. Counting external pulses. Then we call such a um, timer as timer register. You know you have two registers. Either you can use timer 0 or you can use timer 1. So whenever you make 6th bit to 1, it means... 6th bit corresponds to timer 1. So timer 1 will perform as a counter. That means it will be counting external clock pulses uh, received in the 3.5 and 3.4 pins. And whenever the second bit, bit 2 is set, it is supposed to mean for uh, timer 0. So then timer 0 will work as a counter 
to count the external frequencies received at the pins 3.5 and 3.4. Sorry, timer 0 on angle 3.4. Timer 1 on angle 3.5. Okay, so it will be if it is timer 0, it will be the clock frequencies received at 3.4. If it is timer 1 that is acting as count, count the frequencies received at 3.5. Okay, and uh, it will be cleared by the program to make the timer act as a timer. Okay, so these two register T0 and T1 can act as counter or timer. If it is set, it will be acting as counter. If it is clear to 0, then it will act as timer. So, counter means it will be counting the external frequency. Timer means it will be counting the internal. So the next one is uh, M1 and M0, M1 and M0 which are available in the lower nibble as well as in the upper nibble and the lower nibble supports timer 1, sorry upper nibble supports timer 1 and lower nibble supports timer 0. So M1 and M0 are actually the mode select bit. That is what is the operating mode of this timer or counter. So it will be set as a communication. How uh, it communicates with the other in modern uh, multiprocessor system. So there are some uh, registers involved. So basically serial data communication circuit is used to send and receive data bits serially. Hence the name serial communication. So it uses uh, some registers. One is S buffer register, serial buffer register, serial port data buffer, and it will be holding data. And other one, serial control register, serial port control regi register, it will be controlling the data communication. And next one is power mode control register, PCON. It will be controlling the data rate. At what rate the data communicated and the last ones are not registered but two pins that is rxt and txt which are port 3.0 and port 3.1 pins and they will be uh, used for transmission and input inputting so rxt that is a receive pin so it will be used as inputting pin and txt is the transmit one so it will be used for transmitting these two pins will connect to the serial data network in the external. Okay, so it will be following a UART form that is universal asynchronous receiver and transmitter. That is, it is the uh, the feature which make it powerful. The UART between known as uh, serial port, so that it can. Uh, interface with the external devices for serial communication. It is actually a full duplex port. Full duplex means it can uh, full duplex in the sense it is able to transmit as well as receive data simultaneously. So full duplex means uh, simultaneously transmission is also happening and receive reception is also happening. And then it is called a full duplex. But this will um, this will function at different baud rates. Otherwise, the mixing will happen. In order to avoid mixing of transmission transmitted bit and the received bit, they will be sent at different baud rates. Okay. So without the serial port, a serial data sent and receive would be an enormously complicated part of the program in which the pin state is constantly changed and checked at regular intervals. Using UART that is universal asynchronous receiver and transmission pro all the programmer has to do is to simply select the port mode and baud rate and then everything is done. Serial data transmit is nothing but writing to the serial buffer register while data receive is reading the serial buffer resist. Okay. So let us see the microcontroller will take care of not making any error during the data transmission. How? Because it has the serial port in it and it will be tracking control of 
all the checking and sending we only have to bother about selecting the mode of trans uh, communication and also at what rate it has to be transmitted has to be selected by the programmer and what we feel we would be we are writing onto the uh, serial buffer serial port control buffer, sorry serial port data buffer register and transmission will be reading this particular a serial buffer register okay so let us see what is a serial port data buffer is of it is actually uh, working physically as two register it can perform at the same time as a write only register as well as a read only register it is a mutually exclusive registers which use the same address the same address is used by this s buffer register which perform as two register one is write only register and other is a read only register so write only register means it will be holding the data transmitted out of 8051 via txt that is uh, from the um, serial buffer register we will be transmitting out data through the pin txd okay and to the receiving to the serial port buffer uh, through the pin rxt receive stands for rxt okay so uh, when this buffer is used to hold data to be transmitted out then it is called what is the process that is going on we are going to write on to this external one isn't it so and hence then the register is called write only register when you going to hold the received data uh, then we are going to read we are going to perform read from an external port and hence it is called read only register okay. so it is clear write only register means uh, a serial buffer when it holds data to be transmitted out okay so then it it won't be uh, receiving it it will be only functioning a write and hence it is called a write only register whenever we are using the buffer for uh, receiving then what is the process happening is reading a data from the external circuit so a reading only read only register writer as power of active okay So the serial port control, the second one is serial port control uh, SFR register SCON. It has, uh, it is again an 8-bit register. So, so first one are SMC SM1. Those are serial port connection. So two uh, register, two bits are available, which means you can, two bits are available, which means you can um have four possibility two raised to two bits which means four possibilities are there that means zero zero or you can represent it as zero one or one zero and the last possibility is one one the bits value can be either of these uh, four possibility corresponding to the by uh, decimal equivalent you can see when it is zero zero the decimal equivalent is zero and hence it is called mod 0 when it is 0 1 decimal equivalent is 1 and hence it is called mod 1 when it is 1 0 decimal equivalent is 2 and when it is 1 1 uh, the decimal equivalent is 3 it is called mod 3 okay so mod 0 is also called 8 bit shift register and it will be working at a baud rate that is data transmission rate as 1 by 12th of the clock frequency and when it is working as mod 1 it is again 8 bit in the transmitter but it is in UART form and the baud rate can be determined using time of 1 variable idle frequency and when it is mod 2 it is a 9 bit UART which means 9 bits will be transmitted than the previous cases and here two possibility other we can either send it as 1 by 32 baud rate or 1 by 64 baud rate of the clock frequency 
then the last one is mod 3 which is again a 9 bit 9 bits will be sent and uh, it is a variable baud rate 1 that is it is determined by timer 1 okay so that is about sm0 and sm1 next one is sm2 in sm2 it is a multi processor it is called multi processor communication bit it is set or cleared by the programmer to enable multi processor communication in mode so mode 2 and mode 3 layer, it, it will enable multi processor communication in mode um, so when set to 1 that is what you meant by that when set to 1 an interrupt is generated if bit 9 of the received data is 1 and no bit is generated if bit 9 is 0 that in mode 2 and mode 3 you have an extra bit which is called uh, bit 9 or 9th bit okay so depending upon the value of 9th bit in mode 2 and mode 3 uh, sm2 can be 0 if 9th bit is 1 then sm2 will be will be set okay so it's like uh, when 9th bit is 0 then sm2 uh, will be cleared okay that is how, what is happening in mode 2 and mode 3 and let us see what happens in mode 1 so when it is uh, in mode 1 it is set to 1 1 no interrupt will be generated unless a valid stop bit is received so to 1 in mod 1 stop there won't be any interrupt generation and mod 0 it is not in use uh, it is clear to 0 ok for mod 1 stop bit bit another very interrupt on the generate set to 1 so, mod 2 and mod 3 depending upon the value of 9th bit uh, we uh, it may be set or reset okay and next one is uh, ren which means receive enable bit so from the name it, uh, itself it is clear it will be enabling the reception whenever it is set to 1 it will be enabling the reception okay that is about ren and whenever it is uh, 0 it will disable the reception okay and next one is uh, transmit bit 8 which means we require in mode 2 and mode 3 9 bits are transmitted and you know uh, the bits to be transmitted or to be received is stored in which register s buffer register and what is the size of the s buffer register it is only 8 bit size okay so we require additional bit in this particular mod 2 and mod 3 and that additional 9th bit is TB8 and RB8 in SCOL. Okay. And why it is called bit 8 then? Because you know bits will start as bit 0. So bit 0 is the first bit. Then bit 1. Bit 1 is uh, second bit. So correspond to that bit will corresponds to tb8 okay so it is a transmitted bit so whenever we need to transmit a bit in mod 2 and mod 3 the ninth bit will be taken by tb8 taken from tb8 and it can be set or cleared by the program similarly rb8 since all so that is mentioned here since all registers are 8 bit wide this bit this additional bit solves the problem of transmitting the ninth bit in mod 2 and mod 3. It is set to transmit a logic 1 in ninth bit. And in uh, similarly in RB8, that is it is the received bit 8. So whenever we receive data in mod 2 and mod 3, 9 bits will be coming up. So 8 bit will be stored in S buffer while the additional 1 bit will be stored as RB8. And um, 
it will act as a stop bit in mod 1 and it is not used in mod 0 because mod 0 is not used in mod 0 so it is not stop bit so it is not used in mod 0 so that and it will be automatically set at the moment the last bit of one byte is sent. It's a signal to a processor that the line is available for new byte transfer. Okay, so last bit to receive a button either set up. Okay, so that is about R8. Next one is TI and RI. Those are I for interrupt. So receive interrupt. So let us see what is that. So in transmit interrupt. It is a transmit interrupt flag. So it will be set to 1 at the end of bit 7 time in mode 0. Because mode 0 is stop. Uh, 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 It's not working. Sorry. In mod um, mode zero, you'll have eight bits. So it doesn't have any uh, stop bit also. So starting from bit zero to tamp the bit in the bit seven. Very our day to day communication very important okay so whenever the bit 7 is transmitted out transmission carrying you in the garnican item trans transmit interrupt flag will be set set to 1 at the end of bit 7 time in mod 0 transmission carrying you in the garnican and at all other modes baki ella modes in stop bit thodangumbadana the setting which implies that it is over okay and in order to start again a transmission it is clear in this particular flag must be cleared in the matre next transmission allow you to link in a number of buffer in a reuse material for the one the next one is ri ri is again a receiving in the interrupt flag for reception is a shame interrupt will be set so it will be set to one at the end of bit seven time as the similar case in transmission and halfway through the stop bit for all other modes upon the the case transmission when it is the beginning of stop it will i know ella modes ilum interrupt transmit interrupt flag set in with a question in a light is halfway through the stop bit on stop bit in a shesham Stop it half ingilum, Karimbarana, more a baki ella mods, interrupted generate you. Karnanda, stop it to carnival generate the carinal, receive in a lay, a last bit receive a and poo, poo, aduandana. Stop it half ingilum, number receive a half pulse ingilum, kitikarinitana, the receive uh, interrupt flag is set. And similar to transmit interrupt flag, it must be cleared by the program. So the serial data flags um, have TI and RI are set whenever a data byte is transmitted or received. So these flags will be ORed together to produce an interrupt to the program. Either interrupt TI interrupt or RI interrupt. I must read these flags in cause the interrupt flag for enabling. Unlike the timer flag that are cleared automatically, routines are to be returned to clear the flag. So, interrupt flag transmit interrupt and receive interrupt clear clear automatically clear programs or subroutines. Small program, yana routines nari na. But sub programs have to be written down to clear it. It won't be cleared automatically. Clear eda matra mana transmission ani transmission. Alingile receive ani ge reception nada kholu. Okay. 
So it is a bit addressable item la oru register on TCO. Next one is power mode control register. So here you can S mode nu varayna oru. So we have earlier it is seen that it is used for controlling the baud rate. Pe ibade main item la ala S mode nu alla bit ana. And this bit will decide whether the baud rate is twice or the same. Okay, but to wise in the condition get an item, this particular uh, small is a single bit, a bit in a number set to the canyon, and on a board rate, a lot of the to wise I can get up on and the other one is GF1 and GF0, those are the flag user flags we have mentioned earlier. Baki a lot of the Edilana PSW program status word, a lot of Baki a lot of flags all the. Remaining two user flags are in the power control register. Then PD and idle. PD means power down mode. Like you can do it. Set it. Yeah. Idle. No, I mean idle. Let it be. Can I do it? You need to set it. Do it. Okay. And let us check how a data transmission and reception will happen. So uh, a detailed explanation in in the case of modes will be taken as seminar. I will be just giving a primary level explanation on this. So, so the transmission of data will happen whenever any time the data is written to serial buffer. Apo we have uh, what is called microcontroller right. So microcontroller in the so we have microcontroller first. So microcontroller in the S buffer register like yana Porteki point transmitted out on the data made with chicken. So whenever serial buffer like a write the cardinal either transmission of any data ready I carry you. Okay, so whenever data is written to serial buffer starts the transmission. So transmission interrupt flag is set. Whenever the data has been transmitted, as we mentioned earlier, transmission karinya thenne transmission interrupt flag is set up, and it will signify that now the buffer is empty. In a microcontroller no ne lengile buffer leki pudi dae chay di kudka, alengi portan nalla reception enable the kudka. But this signify chya amdi thana soon after the transmission, the interrupt flag is set. Okay, so an another data can be sent to serial buffer transmission and receive an item. reception So the reception will begin whenever the receive enable bit in serial control register is set. Alarm mode receive enable set on angle matra mana reception mode zero angle or receive interrupt it must be clear to zero in order to perform reception. That is mode zero in a setting. So setting the receive enable is the only direct program which control uh, that, uh, that limit the reception of unexpected data. So, buffer like data one that has to be given to the microcontroller. And I think in the bottom or operation receive it on the rickum e data overwrite icon day rickum. So, soon after reception, it has to be stored somewhere in microcontroller. Padu one donor, I'm going to control over the night on you have a bit called receive enable bit in serial control register. In mode zero. Receive interrupt clear it will prevent the reception of new data until the program has dealt with the all data and reset alright. the handle handle microcontroller receive interrupt clear Okay. So it will prevent the reception clear eye it will not allow reception of new data until the buffer data. We will store it in the same way. 
ഓട്ടോമാറ്റിക്കലി അത് റീസെറ്റായി റീസെറ്റായി കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ അടുത്ത റിസെപ്ഷൻ എനേബിൾ ചെയ്യും ഓക്കെ ഇനി ബാക്കിയുള്ള മോഡ്സിൽ എന്താണെന്ന് നോക്കാം സോ ദ ബാക്കിയുള്ള മോഡ് വൺ മോഡ് ടു ആൻഡ് മോഡ് ത്രീയിൽ റിസെപ്ഷൻ വിൽ സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ഇതിൻ്റെ ഓപ്പോസിറ്റായിട്ടുള്ള കണ്ടീഷനാണ് വെൻ എവർ ദ റീസെറ്റ് റിസീവ് ഇൻട്രപ്റ്റ് ഫ്ലാഗ് സെറ്റ് വെൻ ദ സീരിയൽ സ്ട്രീം ഓഫ് ബിറ്റ്സ് ബിഗിൻസ് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി റീസെറ്റ് ബൈ ദ പ്രോഗ്രാം ബിഫോർ ലാസ്റ്റ് ബിറ്റ് ഇസ് റിസീവ്ഡ് അപ്പോൾ റിസെപ്ഷന് മുന്നേ തന്നെ ഇൻട്രപ്റ്റ് ഉണ്ടാകും ഇൻട്രപ്റ്റ് ഇനി അത് റീസെറ്റ് ആക്കിയിട്ടാണ് എപ്പോഴാണ് റീസെറ്റ് ആക്കുന്നത് ലാസ്റ്റ് ബെറ്റ് ഇസ് റിസീറ്റ് ഇൻകമിങ് ഡേറ്റ വിൽ ബി ലോസ്റ്റ് ഇനി വൺസ് ഇൻകമിങ് ഡേറ്റ ഇസ് നോട്ട് ഇൻകമിങ് ഡേറ്റ ഇസ് നോട്ട് ട്രാൻസ്ഫേർഡ് ടു എസ് ബഫർ അണ്ടിൽ ദ ലാസ്റ്റ് ഡേറ്റ ബിറ്റ് ഹാസ് ബീൻ റിസീവ്ഡ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ബഫറിലേക്ക് ടോട്ടൽ മൊത്തമായിട്ട് എട്ട് ബിറ്റും വൺ ബൈ വൺ ആണ് വരുന്നത് അല്ലേ ആ എല്ലാ ബിറ്റും റിസീവ് ആയതിന് ശേഷമാണ് എങ്ങോട്ട് ട്രാൻസ്ഫർ ചെയ്യുന്നത് പിന്നിൽ നിന്ന് എസ് ബഫർ രജിസ്റ്ററിലേക്ക് ട്രാൻസ്ഫർ ചെയ്യുള്ളൂ ഓക്കെ അപ്പം എന്താണ് സംഭവിക്കുന്നത് അപ്പോൾ അത്രയും നേരം ഈ എട്ട് ബിറ്റും കിട്ടുന്നത് വരെ ഈ എസ് ബഫറിൻ്റെ ആവശ്യമുണ്ടോ ഇല്ല സോ ദൻ ക്യാൻ ബി യൂസ് ഫോർ എനി അതർ പർപ്പസ് ഓക്കെ അതാണ് ഇവിടെ പറഞ്ഞിരിക്കുന്നത് ഇൻകമിങ് ഡേറ്റ നോ ട്രാൻസ്പോർട്ട് ടു എസ് ബഫർ അണ്ടിൽ ദ ലാസ്റ്റ് ഡേറ്റ ബിറ്റ് ഹാസ് ബിൻ റിസീവ് സോ ദാറ്റ് ദ പ്രീവിയസ് ട്രാൻസ്മിഷൻ ക്യാൻ ബി റെഡ് ഫ്രം എസ് ബഫർ വയൽ ന്യൂ ഡേറ്റ അപ്പോൾ റിസീവ് ചെയ്തുകൊണ്ടേയിരിക്കുന്നത് വൺ ബൈ വൺ ആണ് സീറോ വൺ ടു അങ്ങനെ അപ് ടു സെവൻ എന്ന് പറയുന്ന എട്ട് ബിറ്റ്സ് വരെ റിസീവ് ചെയ്തുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കും ഇത് കംപ്ലീറ്റ് സെവൻ ബിറ്റ് ഇവിടെ എത്തിയതിന് ശേഷം മാത്രമാണ് എസ് ബഫറിലേക്ക് ഡേറ്റ കയറ്റി കൊടുക്കുകയുള്ളൂ അതുവരെ ഏത് ഡേറ്റയാണ് എസ് ബഫറിലുള്ളത് പ്രീവിയസ് ട്രാൻസ്മിഷനിൽ കിട്ടിയ ഡേറ്റ ആയിരിക്കും ഉണ്ടാവാം സോ അത് നമുക്ക് റീഡ് ചെയ്യാനോ അത് ട്രാൻസ്മിറ്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ചെയ്യാനോ ഒക്കെ സാധിക്കും ഓക്കെ സോ അബൌട്ട് മോഡ്സ് ഇറ്റ് വി വിൽ ബി ടേക്കിങ് സീയിങ് ഇൻ സെമിന സോ ഐ ഐ വിൽ ബി എൻഡിങ് ദിസ് മച്ച് ഫോർ ടുഡേ സോ വോട്ട് വി ഹാവ് സീൻ ഇസ് ടൈമർ കൺട്രോൾ രജിസ്റ്റർ and then the registers used in serial port control serial communication as buffer serial control and the power control and okay so thank you for today